tonight, new details from state prosecutors on why they aren't charging a Southside man who shot his neighbor. 22-year-old Keegan Von Roberts died July 20th during a deadly dispute with Michael Santani. Santani told authorities he acted in self-defense. First Coast News investigative reporter Julia Janae is on your side tonight with that investigative report released this evening. Julia. That's right, Heather and Anthony. I talked to the family of Keegan Von Roberts tonight. They tell me this midnight feud started all over a piece of trash about this size, the kind of plastic sleeve that they place on windshield wipers at car washes for protection. But it was a conflict that would cost Roberts his life. Take every breath in my body. I won't stop until it's changed or till my son gets justice. Cecilia Shepard says she's frustrated over the state attorney's office decision not to pursue charges against the man who shot and killed her son. He was always happy. He's a jokester. He never met any. I mean, everybody was his friends. He didn't meet any strangers. Robert's wife Ellie says they were inside their own SUV when Michael Santani knocked on their window complaining about trash left in his yard. And they started arguing and cussing and then they started tussling. Both men were licensed gun carriers and both were armed. It went from fighting to just hearing two gunshots and then a pause and then another gunshot. Santani was taken into custody but not arrested. He told authorities Roberts pulled his gun first. It doesn't matter if Keegan did or didn't pull out a gun on Michael Santani that night. They need to see and understand that Michael already walked over to us with a loaded gun. But despite what prosecutors called an odd decision to confront neighbors at midnight, the state attorney's office said there was not enough evidence of a crime. In a nine page report, detectives said Robert's own gun was unholstered and found underneath his body. Investigators also found surveillance video from two weeks before the shooting, showing the two neighbors arguing and Robert's brandishing a weapon. It's a terrible and scary precedent. John Phillips, attorney for the family, says he's baffled no initial arrest was ever made. The assailant, the aggressor, can then shoot his way out and not even face jail for a night. Hard, long future without him, but I know he'd still want me to keep fighting and keep moving forward. Attorney John Phillips tells us that they still pre they still plan rather to pursue a wrongful death claim in this case. We've reached out to Michael Santani and have not received a response to our inquiries about this case. We have the full investigative report that we received from the state attorney's office on our website right now at firstcoastnews.com. For now, reporting live from downtown, Julia Janae, First Coast News on your side. Julia, thank you. This is a sketch that you see of a man that police say approached a 13-year-old girl on her way to school.